Hey, what's happening, guys? Today is, I guess, I'm guessing you can, I'm guessing you can guess from the layout here that we are going to be talking about capacitors. What I've got for you here is a ceramic capacitor. This is what's known as a multi-layer ceramic capacitor, polyester capacitor, and electrolytic capacitor. And we're not talking about any of those today. There are many different types of capacitors. This is just some of them. Just keep in mind a capacitor blocks DC and passes AC dependent on the frequency. The type of capacitor we're going to be talking about today is this kind. This is an X2 safety capacitor. And if we look here, it's rated at 0.22 microfarad, 275 volts. So, what is special about a safety cap? What makes it a safety cap? And what's the difference between Class X and Class Y? Safety caps, just like any other, you know, come in different sizes. And you can see the difference in sizes there. I think these are probably still all rated. Yeah, these are all rated 270, 275 volts. So class X and class Y, we're only talking about class X here today. Safety capacitors are safety certified. You can see marks on them from their different certifications through there. And they're designed to be used in AC line filtering. So you're not going to use these in, in a DC circuit. These are generally used in power supplies and, and things of that nature. They're also called EMI or RFI, suppression caps, filter safety caps. Yeah, they go by many names, but if you just call it a safety cap, I think most people will know exactly what you're talking about. Now, as I mentioned, these capacitors are AC capacitors, so they're generally connected across line and load and because they're connected directly i'm sorry line and neutral and because they're connected directly to our ac mains well then they're going to be subject to everything um geez over voltage uh well spike i will be over voltage yeah, anything that could possibly happen coming off the mains and coming in into your bench it's going to happen right here so these capacitors are designed to fail in a way not to hurt you, basically. So again, this is a Class X capacitor, and it is known also as an across-the-line capacitor. And it's placed between the line and neutral because in an over-voltage, it's likely to fail short. This failure would cause an overcurrent uh, in a protective device like a fuse or a circuit breaker to open, Therefore, the capacitor failing in this fashion would not cause any problems. So if we just whip up a little quick drawing right here, and we say, there's our live, there's our neutral, and this is our circuit with the magic happening. So what we want to do is we want to take our class X capacitor and put it between these two. I'm just going to mark that in X2 so we know what we're talking about. So generally, you know, you might have a fuse here, a resistor here maybe. So if this thing fails and shorts line and load, it's going to pop that fuse and you're going to be okay. Now, the second type of capacitor, and I don't have any here, are Class Y capacitors. And they'll often look like a, like a little disc, and you'll be able to see one leg come out of this side this way, and then the other one will come out like that way. And that's a Class Y capacitor. And the Class Y capacitors are what we call... Um, line to ground so again there's our live there's our neutral feeding into our circuit 
you know, we have our fuse, maybe a resistor here. But in this case, we are going to take our class Y capacitor. And we're going to run it to ground. And I drew that backwards, didn't I? No, that's right. We did it off the neutral. Just had to check. So in this case, a class Y capacitor, the capacitor is placed between line and ground. And if it fails short, it could lead to a fatal electric shock. So they are designed to fail open. So if this thing fails, it's just an open here. There's no connection between line and ground. Now this says line, this says neutral. But remember, we're talking about AC here. There's our zero line. There's our AC sine wave. So let's say, you know, this is line, that's neutral. So right here, the live is going to be the more positive. Here, the neutral is going to be the more positive. So remember, these things can and will switch. So that's what's going on right there. So now you know about a different type of capacitor. We have our electrolytics, which are great filter capacitors. We have a couple different types of ceramics. These generally come in smaller values. And, well, they're good for different types of filters, too. Now they're all good for filters. What am I talking about? And then we have a uh, polyester film capacitor. These are great in audio applications. Very nice for that. And now you have your safety capacitor. So you know about different types of capacitors for different activities. Any type of activity that you're working on where you need to terminate wires, you need a good way to terminate them. Whether it's a ring terminal or a spade terminal, whatever. Take a look at our sponsor, Solder Stick. They've got some great stuff for you. Today's video is brought to you by Solder Stick. Solder Stick makes quick, waterproof wire connections that last a long time and protect whatever it is you're working on. They sell different types of connectors, everything from T-tap connectors, which allow you to put a splice into the middle of a wire without having to cut the wire or remove any insulation, waterproof uh, melt butt connector kits, Spade connector kits, which if you work on cars or boats, you know how useful they will be. And the same goes for ring connectors. When you need to connect a wire to something with a nut and a bolt, this is simply the way to do it. Solder stick. Remember them for all of your wire connection needs. There's a link down below for a discount. All right, guys, I'd like to thank Solder Stick for sponsoring this video. I'd like to thank the patrons who support this channel, and I'd like to thank you for watching, because if you weren't watching these videos, what would I be doing here in the first place? I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you. That's it. I'm out. Peace.